I saw that one turtle on the beach, but this one also has made it off the beach. Man, that's a big sucker. I don't want to put... He, he wants to be aggressive, huh? Almost snapper-like. He's uh, on the defense. I can't quite... I can't quite flip him. It's fighting my flipping. Uh, I need to use two hands. It's not that important I see it. <laughs> Whatever. It's got a little defense there. Full of energy. All right, it's all gone. I eat them as fast as I get them. I tried to look for bird poop. I know birds can cause problems. They like to poop all over these berries. But it's, it's not too active with birds around here anyway. Got a little handles here with the spring. Oh, it's a little, all right. Completely empty. Maybe because, maybe because they were recently emptied. <clears throat> And coolers are subject to inspection here. All right, so I'm gonna cook some catfish this morning. I'm gonna hold off on the coffee. Just steam some catfish. I got the water from the bathroom. So as an experiment, I've never done this before. After I cooked the catfish, I steamed the catfish. I used the water. There's catfish oil in there, a little bit. I used the water, I ground up some of that coffee. <clears throat> ground up some of this coffee in the mortar and pestle, and then dumped it uh, after the catfish was done cooking. I turned off the, the heater and then tossed those coffee grounds in. You could see some residue. All right, and I've drank it now. I mixed it with some milk, <clears throat> had it by itself, and I kind of like it. All right, so I gave away two um, of these yoga blocks, so I'm down from 16 to 14, and I'm now using them as heat pads. This is very hot liquid, and I'll just use the yoga block because I got so many. I love that they're great for using for exercise and also I can prop them up in between my legs and play on my computer in the car here better than the foot stand and they can also be uh, like like blocks for the, the heat pads type thing. Alright, drinking this by itself now that it's cooled down a little bit. It tastes like smoked fish. The catfish and the, the coffee are like smoked fish. And now I'm having it with yeah, some food, a little more food. All right, so at this beach, they have these showers inside. You just hold, you gotta, you gotta hold that button now the whole time. And they just open up for 10 o'clock. There's also these showers, which I showed before. You actually, as soon as you let go, it turns off. But I still wasn't clear about, oh, here's the beach, okay. You gotta walk through the women's by the women. No, you go out that way. What am I thinking? They just don't block women and men. So now the beach is open. <laughs> nope. And then the women have their own shower. So they don't really separate men and women too much. Maybe it just doesn't get that busy. <clears throat> you could just kind of pass. So they're going to be cautious about exposing themselves. Yeah, you can get out to the beach by the men's side. 
but uh, who knows how much of this beach will be used. I'm interested. You see this track right here? I don't know where it went. That's a turtle shell. Because the other turtle on the other side made that same type of track. It's not quite it's ruts from tires. And then they got a sidewalk that leads out to the beach. Hey man, what's up? Hey, is, that, is that your car? Was it somebody call? No, no. Uh, I just wanted to make sure somebody didn't camp there because it was all covered, like you know, they like, had slept here overnight. So I just wanted to make sure that if that's your car, it's no big deal. Don't you have night patrol? Huh? Do you not have night patrol who can check to see if anybody is camping overnight? Is that? Yeah. We or is sure. is it a daytime camping issue? No, no. You can, you can be so you're worried there. about that being here overnight? Yeah, yeah. I well, don't you have a night patrol? Do you talk to your night patrol? No, we don't have 24-7 coverage. Well, that's that's too bad. Yeah. Wow. So then you have to approach me and start asking me questions if I was here last night. No, I'm just that's a little, that's your car. You got a little gap in your security. Yeah. Has it been a problem? No. All right. Nope. But yeah, you, you definitely you take some initiative to interact with the people and ask them to be honest about their activities out here. Rather than you know checking it on yourself, you know by yeah. yourself. Yeah, I just want to make sure. So the state park ranger is a little light on the budget. You can't have a night patrol. Well, we do our best. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're I'm a little light. How many? Are you the only one on on uh, the clock right now for this yeah. shift? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. The only guy. And it's a Sunday too. This might fill up. Yeah, I know. You that's could why, you could get overwhelmed. That's why, that's why I didn't work last night. So I'm here today. To, yeah. Park, yeah. Do you expect it to fill up? I've never been here before. Uh, Do you expect it, or it, was it know. was it busy yesterday? It was pretty busy, yeah. But yeah. We got some overcast, so maybe, maybe not. But. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So no big deal. I just yeah. I mean, sure. yeah. That's I mean, that's my car. I okay, cup cool. I covered up the I covered up the windows. I mean. Okay. Yeah. No. No. It's no big deal. I just I didn't know if uh, somebody was sleeping in there or I want to check well being, make sure. I right. yeah. I, I might I might fall asleep in there. Oh, no, that's fine today. Yeah, that's great. Okay, it's great. Okay. Yeah, you encourage it. Sure. If I'm able to, right? Sure. Yeah, if it, you can. When if it gets 90 degrees, I don't know if that's even possible. It's pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. Hot over windows, yeah. yeah. Okay. But, all right. Thanks, man. All right. Is this a cop? I don't think it is, but they're just they just patrolled the front of the beach. They don't have any markings. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. So I heard an RV hit a sign up here making that right hand turn. <laughs> Those clumsy RV drivers. <laughs> but it's still standing. He hit like the state park sign and I saw it rocking. I heard it. Yeah. They didn't stop. They didn't skip a beat. <clears throat> All right, I'm in Canton at the county market. And I believe this is for Amish people. They got a little corral spot. 
so there's a significant enough population with a hundred degree days coming up looking at this hotel I'm thinking maybe I should be maybe I should be moving in for the next few days take advantage of that nice AC but uh, I mean this is only the beginning of the summer so that's only a short term short short time relief and it doesn't quite protect me from or protect my car from all that heat still only me I ride at Orschlands with the flashy lights they're selling a wood post $40 wood posts I don't know what they would be used for it's like they're green treated they're just so thick those are some th those are the thickest wood posts I've ever seen I don't know it seems a little a little thicker than necessary and cracked pretty nice All right, so I should, if, by, if, if my calculations are correct, I should have a good parking spot here uh, in the af evening, afternoon. The sun will, will come back over to offer protection for a good portion of the evening, not the whole evening. The sun will come back through. But, you know, by the positioning of my car, I won't have the broadside facing that sun it'll just be the back end i gotta be doing that too gotta be planning on angling finding good great spots to angle my my car so that it's not so i don't have the driver's side facing the evening sun that's annoying and what is going on here they're they're dumping water in there they're, they're dumping water into these trucks like wastewater there's somebody there's somebody above you can kind of see them sort of not great they're dumping water this is a wastewater area <laughs> and they dump they dump water into trucks for delivery somewhere the wastewater <clears throat> See, Keokuk has a Walmart I want to sleep at tonight, but I'll be here during the day. <clears throat> so this this is uh, I would park on the left side if I wanted to park in here, but uh, <clears throat> I chose my area. And it might be heavily patrolled by police if I'm seeing them this early. So I was watching a cop drive by my car intently. And that just uh, brings other people who see me watching the cop, brings attention to myself. As I'm intently watching the cop to see if, what, if he's going to show interest in my car or not. And then people are watching me watch the cop. And it goes back and forth. These are some weird looking birds. Pelicans, I mean, pelicans. <clears throat> yeah, this is kind of a neat area. It's almost like this, the Suez Canal on the Mississippi. 
they turn this bridge for ships and when trains come they'll turn it back and the last one didn't make any noise I don't know how noisy those things are but the last one was quiet Keokuk plant what kind of plant that's interesting so the setup here is very unique it's it's not exactly a dam it's not just a bridge they're doing some unique stuff here I think catering to barges and and then trains and cars there's a traffic it's it's a traffic management system on the Mississippi in Keokuk and and also they turned it into a park too but uh, it's a limited park <laughs> <laughs> they make it clear where you can't go no vehicles beyond this point but this uh, this sign is so worn down so I'm guessing this is all fenced in enclosure on the other side over there this is the park limit all right so the wastewater treatment plant has this pipe I find interesting this is this is the wastewater treatment plant pipe, and I think it's probably shut down. They pro and you know they have those trucks that they're filling up with now, full of what kind of sludge is that? <clears throat> it's all poop. All right, and further down from the bridge, they have uh, an old paddle boat and it's out of the water I believe <clears throat> only on display can you even go inside and then some weird barrels in the water so if you search GOM Verity I'm sure there's information about it <clears throat> they pull it out of the water and this is the original they got the old wooden paddle boards. I guess I've never really seen anything. And then the rudder, they had to, to pull that. That's assuming the Mississippi is deep enough for a rudder like that. But yeah, they, they dug out uh, the ground for it to fit it. It's like looking at an old train. I wonder how many of these things are on display. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I've always seen them. They've been converted into casinos and they do tours. But to actually just be sitting off the water as a display, that's different. For me at least. Train station, oil or whatever liquid cars for trains and then these weird round things you a government property no trespassing and you could see that they can tie ships to them and there's another one over here but this looks way more beat up unusable and I don't understand what the point was Okay, people do show up and you can go inside and it's a museum. Nine to five daily? Okay. Well, I'm not paying no four dollars. All right, these wastewater guys, there's three of them now. One that drove in, another guy sitting in his truck in an official wastewater truck, and another guy who <laughs> entered the doors here they just like looked at me all shady on separate three separate occasions within just a couple of minutes as I was just walking down they're looking around looking at me in shade in a shady way so they have serious security concerns when you got the workers half getting distracted by by the uh, the security, they can't focus entirely on their their work. Um, 
and because they're they're worried about security I think they're really concerned about security here <clears throat> So that gets my attention. I'm like, what the heck is these people's problem? I mean, I understand that these type of establishments are supposed to be afforded extra security. But if you're so worried about it here, you could do more than just look, look over your shoulder every and stare at people walking by. You could do a little bit more than that. All right, so back at the waterworks, Keokuk Waterworks. And I don't appreciate how they're like looking over their shoulder. Keokuk Waterworks guys are really staring hard at me. They got a problem. I get this strong feeling like they got a problem. I mean that one cop did do an early check of the park. Like, I, I don't know, whatever. There's a, there's a way to look around this, this uh, waterworks park. It's one of the most uh, poorly, poorly placed waterworks or sewage treatment plant or whatever that causes them to, to look over their shoulder. They designed it to be like this themselves. Wow, this is pretty neat. So this is a part of the park. Yeah, enjoy the park, but you got these waterworks people. If you check that out, they look, they watch you. <laughs> but it's all, it's like a part of the park. This is a boardwalk and it goes pretty good distance down. And it looks cool. Pay toll here? Wow. So this is a uh, old, old toll, br toll bridge. It seems very unlikely that those guys would call the cops actually. They'll watch you closely, but you gotta walk around this waterworks to get over to this part. If you park down below, you gotta walk around the waterworks to get over to this neat area. This may not be as well known, this little walk. But I'm not gonna read this all, I'll just record two at a time. Which is four in all, four lines. Kind of a new sign. Something to learn more about this area and another sign and maybe another further down.
So my car is actually parked closer to the toll booth bathroom than the uh, one down below. These workers got it pretty good here. Being able to park underneath a bridge with great shade in the sun for the summertime. And I mean, it would also protect from the snow in the winter as well. I don't complain enough about these. Look at how stupid this sidewalk is. It curves to the right. It curves to the left. And back to the right up there. Totally pointless. Little baby Robin sitting on the trash. Good fly, right? No. <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. It's gonna be a hot one to sit there later.